Hey guys, welcome. Welcome if you're new. My name is Luda aka Knitty Life and every week I post a new video of me crocheting or knitting and trying new thing. So this week this happened. I started crocheting the Snoopy sweater and I didn't really like how it was turning out and so instead I changed the whole thing to a different pattern. So I'm currently working on this zebra cardigan. It looks so cute. And it's actually turning out really well. And so let me show you right now what it looks like. So here's a little update of how far I've gone on the cardigan of the back piece of the zebra. It looks really good. So here it is. It looks awesome. I'm really happy how it's turning out. I like it way better than me doing the the Snoopy, unfortunately, I know you guys wanted me to do that, but I think I'm gonna wait for it for a little bit and then do something else with it. So I haven't figured out what, but here's the zebra one. It looks really good. So we're coming up on the nose. We have the, the feet and everything. And then there's the tail right here. I am using single double crochet with a 3.75 millimeter hook. So it's been really nice so far. So I'm just gonna continue um, crocheting that on my couch and then we'll just see how it goes. Hey guys, so if you hear a lot of clicking, I'm actually at Eli's office. He's working. I just brought my crocheting with me because I am super, not bored, but I was like getting tired of being in the house. So I thought, why not crochet in a different setting? So let's just continue crocheting. I'm gonna put some lo-fi and then see how far we get. Today is the next day <laughs> and um, I just got done with my lunch we have like 10 minutes and I finished the back piece of the zebra how cool is this it actually looks really cool as a tapestry but I did say I was gonna make a cardigan so how does this look what do you think I might continue making it longer because I do want the zebra to be maybe like towards my knees. I want it to be like a long cardigan coat. Long cardigan, let's go with that. Um, and yeah, but it would look so cool as a wall hanging too. I really love how this turned out. All right, so now let's go back to work and then we'll continue working on this after work when I get off at five. Right now it's gonna be three, so two more hours and then we'll come back and continue crocheting. Hi guys. Quick update, so it's after five and I did a little bit more rows during my break and just now I just did maybe one or two rows. And so now what I'm gonna do is I cast it off, cast off, I'm not knitting. But what it called cast off, crocheting too? I'm not sure, but <laughs> I think it would. I cast off on 80 chain, so we have 80 chains right here. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do some math for our front piece. So we're gonna have two front pieces. So 80 divided by two is 40. So we should have 40 pieces on each, 40, 40 chains on one side, 40 chains on the other. But remember, we need some room for ribbing. So usually what I do, I subtract minus five or eight chains from total. So, so maybe like 36. So I'll do maybe, how about 35? So we'll do 35 chains front two pieces. So 35 chains plus 35 chains is 70. So we have 10 chains for ribbing, which is nice. So let's start working on our front part, part from pieces, <laughs> two front pieces, and then we'll attach this all together. <laughs> and I have like an hour before I go to work and so and it's Friday 
So let's go get some breakfast, make some tea or coffee, get on our couch, continue crocheting that sweater and get to work and then hopefully be done with the sweater by the end of the week. So someday um, in a few days and yesterday I couldn't go to bed. So I made this cool beanie just using the leftover yarn that I have from Michaels, which is this uh, beige that I used for my wedding dress. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. And then this blue that I used for the gnome beanie that I gave to Rob. So that was like the leftover and I still have a little bit more, so which is pretty awesome. Um, so anyway, <laughs> let's go make breakfast and then come back on our couch and continue crocheting. So Eli bought these teas and I tried these a long time ago and I was like positive energy, like that doesn't work, but it tastes pretty good. So maybe it's giving me some positive energy. It's probably just the caffeine kicking in because it's so early in the morning, but let's have some of these. It's pretty good. And then we'll have some ginger and then relax and crochet. much later hey guys so real quick update it's past five and i finished work but i also finished one of the front panels for the cardigan it's huge but when i put it towards myself look how small the decrease is so what i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna undo it and i'm gonna start my decrease from here and I decrease every other row so instead of decreasing only for 10 rows um on the top, we're gonna do more. So let's do that really quick and then see how it looks. We should be done with one panel today and then tomorrow we'll have time to do the second panel and then work on the sleeves. So stay tuned to see how the cardigan turns out. Look how much I had to undo and I'm still not there yet because we're trying to get to the stitch marker. So yeah, this happens to me quite often and that's okay. We just continue knitting or crocheting. <laughs> happy saturday everybody and guess what i we all day been waiting for this package to arrive and it got here let me turn it down and oh not that's too dark <laughs> and it just got here and we just carried it over the balcony but guess what it is can you guess let's see what we got it's a huge box <gasps> Damn, that thing looks huge oh snap uh this is probably important this is power fire what it has to be powered Ooh. Oh my God, Holy me. crap. Oh. Holy crap. A lot of on the wall. And this one is the Wi Fi one. Nice. This is for our two cats for the litter. So it won't get everywhere. Hundred forty six minutes later Whoop. Haven't done that for a while so I finished one side yesterday and it's pretty long I love the decreases and then today I've been procrastinating and just been super lazy and tired So I've only done this much. So hopefully the rest of the night um, I'm actually gonna go on a walk. I'll take you guys with me. It's near my house. Just Gonna get some exercise and then we'll come back and continue crocheting this and we should be done with both of the panels So tomorrow we can attach them to each other and then start working on the sleeve Stay tuned to see how it turns out. It's very dark. So I don't think you guys will be able to see me because um, This is the only light 
that there is and there's no one else in the parking lot so it's just me and Eli oh but the sky let me see if I can capture it you hear that some birds Alright, let's go on a walk. After the walk, I made some hot tea to warm myself up and just continue crocheting the part of the sleeve at my desk. So let me put some lo-fi and pass forward and then I'll catch you guys for an update. Hey guys, good morning and last night we finished the second panel for the front. They're huge, they're both 86 rows. So now what I'm going to do is before attaching it, I'm actually going to start working on the sleeve. And look how much yarn I still have left. I still have this huge ball of yarn left and this from the first yarn um, that we used for the back and the front panels. So that's pretty awesome. So now let's start working on the sleeve. I'm going to start with 60 chains and then go all the way down maybe 20 rows and decrease 60 to maybe 58 and then keep decreasing every other row until we get that smooth nice sleeve and then we'll put everything flat on the floor and attach it. I've never done that method. Usually if you've seen my other videos, you know that I always go in around. I have, I'll attach the back and the front and then I'll do 60 chains going around, 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 making the sleeve. But this time I thought, why don't we try doing a panel for the sleeve and then attaching it flat on the floor and see what that looks or what it gives us. So let's try something new. So let's continue working. I am listening to my podcast. I'll talk more about it while I'm crocheting and then we'll meet up when we're done with the sleeves. My favorite creamer. It's gonna go in my tea. Have you tried creamer in your tea? It's actually pretty sweet. I'm a slurper. Sorry. <laughs> A few moments later. Hey guys, a little quick update. It is four or five and it's about to be sunset and I wanna go outside on a walk before it gets too dark like yesterday. And so real quick update. So I did finish doing 50 rows of the sleeve and then I started working on the ribbing. So it's three front posts, one, this is actually the right way, three front posts, one back post, double crochet. And that's gonna go around our cuff just like this perfect i am a little bit nervous because 50 rows is a lot but um let's go on our walk and then we'll come back and find out if it is a lot or not because we're gonna i think i'm gonna attach one of the sleeves just to see how it fits but let's go on a walk first and then we'll come back and see how it goes it is so cold outside guys eli is changing and i put on actually a thicker jacket because i'm freezing so hopefully it's not too much windy on the trail because it's really windy outside and it's cold. Trail walk. It is so cold and windy. But let's do this. Be cold? Yeah. And what were you wearing before this? Uh, like a windbreaker tank top. Uh huh, and shorts. Crazy. Crazy man. Madra Farm open really space. Fun. My face is frozen, so Eli and I just turned around and we're gonna walk the other way. So I finished working on one of the sleeves. It looks really good. It's 50 rows plus five rows, one, two, three, four rows of the ribbing. And I was thinking first attaching this to one of the sides and just kind of seeing how it is. But then I was like, why not just go with it? We're just gonna make exactly the same piece like this. And then tomorrow, late tomorrow or first thing Tuesday in the morning, since I have that day off, we'll attach everything together and hope it's good. What's the worst thing that could happen? I hope nothing. All right, let's continue crocheting guys and we'll see what happens. <music> I 
procrastinator I got a little bit tired from crocheting and so I got my crock pot out and we're gonna make some chili for the week it's gonna be vegetarian which I've never made before and so let's try a new recipe it was so sad like I'm so sad. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just crying over here. I can't even open my eyes. Uh, does anyone have a trick on how not to cry when cutting an onion? <laughs> Comment down below if you do. I really want to know. So you're going to slice everything, put it all in here. Oops, earthquake, but you got the idea. The next day. Good morning, guys. It's Monday and uh, and I am working on the second piece of the sleeve. We just finished our decreasing. So now we're, we have 38 chains and we're just going to go back and forth until we have 50 chains um, and then on a 51 Oh, sorry 50 rows and then on the 51st row for four rows we're gonna do the ribbing just like how we did this sleeve and then whoop, and then we're gonna attach everything and hopefully everything works I'm a little nervous but we'll see so let's crochet a little bit more and then I gotta go to work and then my break is at 11 30 and then we'll continue crocheting and then I believe during my lunch I probably will be done um, so I can attach everything together. So stay tuned to see how the attaching part goes. I haven't decided if I want to do a slip stitch or yarn needle. We'll see. While crocheting on my couch, I've been watching Jerry Seinfeld, the, net, uh, the show on Netflix, and it's pretty funny. Here's a little glimpse of what I was watching while I was crocheting on my couch. Do you think that birthday parties is that the first birthday party you have and the last birthday party you have are actually quite similar? You know, you just kind of sit there. You're the least excited person at the party. You don't even really realize that there is a party. You don't know what's going on. Both birthday parties, people can kind of have to help you blow out the candles. You can't do it. You don't know why you're doing it. What is this ritual? What is going on? It's also the only two birthday parties where other people have to gather your friends together for you. Hi guys, so I have about like 20 minutes before I get off my lunch and I just finished the sleeve. So now let's put everything flat on the ground and start attaching it with a yarn needle, at least the sides. And then I think I might do slip stitch with a um, my hook. So let's do that. All right, so we have the big back piece, which looks awesome. And it's gonna be laying the wrong way towards me. So I'm gonna put it this way. And then we have the front panels, which I'm going to attach first. This is the sleeve. These are the front panels. So they're going to be like this. Okay guys, so I attached our first front panel. So now let's attach the second one and then continue attaching the sleeves. And then let's do the slip stitch to connect everything on the side and the sleeve. And then I'll meet you guys when I attach everything. Hey guys, so I finished attaching the sleeves, which I did um, slip stitch all the way down and then all the way slip stitch down this way, which is super nice. I've never done it. I've never attached it like that but it looks pretty good and it feels really nice. I thought 50 chains would be too long, but it's perfect amount, which I'm super happy about. And so now let's go back and we're gonna do ribbing in the front. I think the length is perfect, so I'm not gonna do it on the bottom. So just in the front, we're gonna do maybe five or six rows of ribbing, three front posts, one back post, double crochet, and then we'll be done. And then tomorrow we'll take final photo shoot because I gotta take Eli to the airport and we're gonna have sunlight, so let's, meet tomorrow when everything is done and show you the final look the next day hey guys i finished the cardigan it looks amazing i'm so happy how it turned out i mean kind of i'm not liking the sleeves but i did try a different method so now i know what it feels like but here's the final look i hope you have a great rest of your day guys and 
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below and leave a comment. I'll see you guys on my next video coming up next week. Where you way? <clears throat>